83. Them three hit us a little bit, but we did our best. We, did, we were just trying to stop that, and it was just going in. Um, we're going to be ready for back in the ACC and our league, so next Tuesday. Oscar Cal said multiple times in his post-game presser with us that when a lot of times when Kansas was going to block you off, they were turning and facing you and putting their arms kind of up at you. How often did that happen, opposed to turning around and blocking it you out? It happened in love, man. I don't know. Um, um, I don't know about that. I don't know if it's foul, if it's not a foul, because I don't know many things. I just fight it through that. I just fight through that. Um, I don't nothing I can do. They were facing, just back you up. When somebody's facing you, trying to move, they just back you up. You can do nothing with that. That's why it's good for some of my teammates to just keep fighting too. Let's go fight for the ball. We got two offense sweeper. That is tough one. Compared to the earlier season non-conference, big matchups you guys had, where do you where do you feel like the team is now? That's, I feel like it would be good. Um, um, I'll probably say two weeks ago, three weeks, months. We team like this, we're probably going to lose a lot of points because um, we were not really defending like we are defending right now. We are, we are really playing good. We're playing good. We just got to stay locked in. We got to take off those trees. We got to know everything. I guess what were your thoughts on that crowd and playing in that environment tonight? And I guess it had some disappointment that you guys weren't able to deliver your fans a win. Well, um, I just want to say thank to all of our fans because uh, today was a tough one. It was a, it was big boy fight. We just come in, we were fighting. They came out from losing three games in a row. They just, they come in to die, like to win this game. For us too, we were fighting. Um, it just, it was just a tough one. But I just want to say thank you to our fans. We're going to keep fighting. Jacob said that this team is, is still together. They're still mm -hmm. fighting. Mm -hmm. you, you feel like even though you just came off a tough loss, that morale is still where it needs to be? Yeah, absolutely. The team it is where it's supposed to be. It's, today was tough. You cannot, I cannot say anything. I give credit to all my teammates. We fight. Um, we just got to get back again to get and move on. We cannot get anything from this game we just lose. Now we just learn it from it. Just watch your film and go with it to beat the whoever we play next time. What can you do to all of you? Mm -hmm. The pick and roll, the lob dunk, lob right. dunk, lob dunk. Tennessee went, in, went into you guys a lot. So did A&M. What were they doing to get these wide open dunks? Um, it's something we gotta watch your film a lot and we gotta go through it yeah, and yeah, um, yeah. just, we gonna figure it out. We got the best coaches, they know what they're doing. Um, we just gotta make sure we don't let that keep happening, happening, it's hurting us a little bit. Oscar, how comfortable do you feel defending the pick and roll? What do you feel like you feel? Uh, I feel a lot of comfortable. Um, I feel a lot of comfortable because uh, sometimes it's just so tough. When they drive, they just kick it out. We gotta make sure, we gotta learn how to to recover, so like um, to recover back quick and just not let all those easy bikes happening. But I feel comfortable with everything. I would imagine that's a huge, is that a huge focus? Has it, it been in practice? I mean, it's been like everybody, that. everybody been focusing. We stay at the hotel, they took our phones, we get in good night's sleep, um, we stay together, we eat together, we play as brothers. And um, he just, today was just tough for him. I cannot say anything. All my boys fight. Uh, we make a mistake, we're going to learn from that. There was a stretch there when, before you won these four in a row coming into the night where every loss sort of seemed like or felt like it was the end of the world. Do you think you're on the other side of that now where even though you're disappointed to lose tonight, um, this doesn't I feel like the I sky is falling? I don't, this is a great team. Kansas is a really good team uh, for us to come in and fight like where we fight tonight. And it just gave me more confidence. Now we just gotta know. We just gotta go fight. We just gotta get better, get better, get better, and keep going. How much do you think a game like this kind of resembles an NCAA tournament game? It can help you down the down the road, despite the loss. At this it can help us a lot. At this loss, I know we are really disappointed. I wish we could win, but it just told us how it's out there. Like we just gotta learn from this. Cannot let this happen. Just gonna move on. It gives us more confidence for the NCAA tournament. Um, now everybody can see. We cannot let everybody gotta stay focused. That's how we're gonna keep on moving in the NCAA. Thanks, Austin. Thank you.
Oscar, this isn't related to the game, but obviously I, I, I've been to a few games. You and Hugo seem to cut up and you seem pretty close before the game. Can you kind of talk about the relationship with Hugo and how Hugo, you kind of helped him since he's Hugo, been the team? Hugo is my boy. Um, it's like I see him like my younger brother. I just want to help him a lot because I say soon I won't be here, but uh, it's up to God, whatever he got for me. But I just want to get him ready, so whenever I'm out here, he can help a team. What are you teaching him to try to help a team? To help a team, or... I'm teaching him, number one, is to be fighting. Come in every day willing to fight. Number two, um, uh, you got to get in the gym, get better, because nobody going to do it for you. Number three, just being good kids. Treat people how you want to be treated. So, number four, like, keep God in your life and everything you do. I just uh, help him and he listened to me. Uh, I know right now he's not playing. Um, he knows before even he came here, he knew he was not going to play a lot because uh, coach is going to try to play us, me more because we're trying to win. Um, he's learning a lot. That's why you see me even before a uh, game and a warm up, we go one on one. We do that in the practice all the time. We come in before, uh, before practice, we're going to have like 30 minutes, just go one on one. He's calling me. Uh, so I'm learning. If I can score on him, he's too tall, he helped me too when I go against big. But for him too, it's so physical for me, so he's getting better. And I say, you, you kind of, is there sometimes you struggle with, with length when there's guys that are seven foot three, seven foot four? Obviously, you go seven, he goes seven like, two. Is yeah, he helped me a lot. He helped me a lot. Um, that's why now I gotta know how I gotta, if, I, if I'm learning to finish on him, so I can finish on any big. What was the crowd like tonight? Was that one of the better ones you played ever up here? The crowd was amazing. I never see like <laughs> that was uh, something like um, really disappointing. We wish we, they can live with happiness, but we just want to say thank you for them to come in and support. It was way very good to see them. Um, we're gonna bike in the road. We're gonna bike here again. We're gonna we're gonna keep fighting so everybody can be happy. Oscar Jacob said he thought kind of the difference in the game was you guys actually losing the rebounding battle and not getting a single second chance point. Is that where you'd also kind of pinpoint? Um, I feel that, and uh, we just got to keep it going. going. For me, staff, when it, right now everybody's saying able to block Oscar, you just got to go. You got to find him where is he going. Um, I got to keep fighting because I don't know if he's foul, if he's not a foul, because uh, um, I'm not just going to keep fighting. But I told Jacob, this is a good time for you. Just go get him more rebound than me. Go get him more rebound. But if he don't, I'll just keep fighting and I'll get more rebound than him anyway. Um, it's kind of hard to tell. We got to watch film and see what mistakes were made. Um, at halftime, we watched some some film and uh, we weren't pulling enough on non-shooters. And uh, that's really what cost us. Um, we got, they got the ball to the big and he was just able to um, play freely in the in the middle. So we have to figure out what we did wrong so we don't do that again. What were they Cal doing? Keep, go ahead. Cal also said that you guys were knocked off point on some of those on ball screens. Is it is it a thing of just being more physical than you've been? or? I mean, yeah, sometimes it's being more physical, but other times it's like you can't really get over moving screens. Um, I'm not saying anything about the rest, but sometimes there were screens that were being moved that weren't called moving screens. So it was kind of hard getting over, but yeah, we just got to be more physical. What were they doing to keep you all off the boards? It seemed like y'all didn't, you know, you, know, you, you were behind the I mean, the honestly, the honestly, they weren't doing anything. Uh, I know I could have crashed more. There were times where I was just floating around the perimeter. I got to be better at that because obviously when we were winning games, we were dominating the board. So we just got to be better at doing that. When you don't get the second chance points like you normally do, how much of a difference does that make in a game like this? A big difference. We lost the game. Uh, if we got at least five more offensive rebounds, that would have been five more chances to get a bucket. So it's big. Coach Self said after the game that it's kind of a pride thing that your guys' win at Tennessee was a lot like their win tonight. They lost three in a row. Did you get that feeling from them that they were they were determined to get that streak turned around? I mean. I'm not worried about any other team. They can say what they want to say. Uh, we're on a stretch, too, where we're trying to roll. Uh, obviously, we got it out today, but we're going to keep moving forward. Um, it's, it's a marathon, not a sprint. So we're not going to win every game. Uh, we're not going to do good every game. So obviously, we just got to go back, watch film, see what we can get better at, and then worry about the next game. Now that you, because you've won the four in a row coming into this one, 
is this one of those nights where you don't, where it doesn't have to feel like a loss is the end of the world? That you can you know still come out of this feeling like okay, we we still have made progress. There are things you know things are still moving in the right direction. Yeah, considering we could have still won the game, um, obviously um, it's not the end of the world, and we understand that we're still together. Um, we're just gonna, like I said before, watch film and get better. What's in your mind? What was there was one thing you point to. We do this, we win the game. Offensive rebound. We know offensive rebound. We did, we lost the rebounding war. And like I said before, winning games, the games that we've won, we've dominated on the boards, and we didn't do that tonight. When you sort of listen to this crowd from the minute you guys walked in there all the way to the end, it's pretty obvious that they're behind you guys. If there yeah. was any question earlier in the season, does that sort of do something for the players to know that? You've, you've shown them enough to, and every time you guys got to stop, you know, it was, it was, it was, it was great energy. Um, we appreciate them for coming out and showing out, but we didn't get a W for them, so that sucks. But obviously, um, we love BBN. They always come out and support. Um, so we appreciate BBN. We appreciate the fans and everyone who comes uh, to watch us play. Obviously disappointed with the outcome, but did you feel like you guys put yourself in a spot to, to go win a big game tonight? And, and what do you think? Oh well, yeah, I changed it. Did believe that we was gonna win this game tonight. I feel like you know, floor and threes that they hit. You know, it was it was simple mistakes that we could have made on the floor, but you know, they was able to hit them. So you know, it was tough on us, and you know, it's hard to come back when it's you know, down four minutes and they hit them threes like that. It seemed like they made a, a concerted effort on you and CJ to just be there every time you caught the ball, mm -hmm. kind of right in your face. What, mm -hmm. did, that, did that make it tougher tonight to, to um, get good, clean looks off? Yeah, good, clean looks. Definitely it was tough. Um, they know me and CJ were the shooters. It was spaced out on, on us. And, you know, we just have to be, be able to make plays, you know, be able to find other teammates and, you know, just, just work, work that way. You guys kept cutting it. You got it down to one point at one at one point. Do you think if you could have gotten that lead, uh, that that would have made a difference? Yeah, it would definitely made a difference. You know, just us being up, and we weren't really worried about the scoreboard, but you know, just the, the energy coming from the crowd, and you know, just tiling on that defensive end. You know, it definitely would have helped. But you know, it was down at the whole, down there the whole game. But you know, just you know, just stick to you know going to practice every day and try to figure out what's really going on. You guys hurt you guys at all in the first half because they didn't have more threes than you did? Uh, not surprised. We already knew it was going to be a tough game. I mean, we already knew that, you know, it was a good defensive team. So I don't think that was the case at all. It was just, you know, us, you know, finding out good looks and uh, making them, them open shots. I would assume. How was game one? Did you shots in the game one again? Oh, um, you know, just pressuring me, you know, just being there on the threes, uh, being able to me trying to be able to make plays, you know, which I could do, but, you know, it was just difficult. You know, they was raking and, you know, big I was there down low. So it was kind of, kind of difficult, but, you know, it's, it's always next game. I would assume despite the result that this tonight doesn't really change the way you guys feel about yourselves after, you know, these last two, three weeks of kind of figuring some things out. No, I don't think it's, it changed at all. It's just us getting back to the basics, really, and figuring out, you know, what's what we need to do on the floor next time. You know, it's it's all it's a marathon. It's really we don't really have. To, it's really just not one game. You know, it's it's multiple games. So, you know, we just got to figure it out. You may have answered this already, and I'm sorry, but how demoralizing is it when you guys make a stand and then they get, then you make a basket and they get? You never could get that run in the second half. Oh yeah, it's definitely tough. You know, them making threes like that is is really hard to beat a team. Um, we just have to figure out next time, you know, how we guard, you know, those type of things. And you know, us making two and they making three is is always it's troubling. So, you know, just figuring out what we have to do next time. Tonight was a loss, so it's disappointing. But what do you think? Um, you've been playing your best basketball this season here the last few weeks. Um, what's given you that confidence? What uh, you used to be a spot up shooter kind of role at the beginning of the season. Now we see you running to the basket, making runners, floaters. What's giving you that confidence? Um, me knowing that I was always, you know, 
uh, off the dribble. You know, I could definitely put on the floor and gain rhythm just by putting on the floor. I right? you knew my game was, was, you know, those type of things. And, you know, just being more comfortable with those things just gave me a boost, you know. And, and you know, not just being a spot-up shooter, but just, you know, making plays for others and, you know, figure, like just create my shot. Another last few weeks with CJ being on the floor with you, how much easier does that make your job? There's, there's not one concentrated effort on just you or CJ. Oh, it's definitely made my job easier. Knowing he, you know, on the other side, it, it just opens up the floor for both of us. And, you know, us being night down shooters, you know, they just, it's hard to guard too when it's out on the floor. So, you know, those type of things is is always, you know, trouble for teams when they have to guard us. Antonio, how do you walk away from this one? Discouraged or maybe, hey, you're a lot closer than you guys were maybe a month ago? Um, how do I feel about it right now? Yeah. Uh, you know, everybody lose. I mean, it's it's, you know, it you be mad for a minute, but you just have to get over it. You know, yeah, all of us probably you know, is mad that we lost, but you know, it's always you know that next day, always that that ends game. So we just have to figure it out and you know be ready to go next time. Despite the loss, it was probably one of the better crowds in Rep that had this season. Do you have anything to say about? Oh man, energy was amazing in Rupp today. You know, they came out, showed out, and, you know, we competed for them. And that's how, you know, they want it. And, you know, it's just us, you know, figuring out next time how we, how we can get this up in Rupp. On Monday, Cal talked about how you kind of went through a tough spurt, kind of like Jason earlier in the season. Obviously, we didn't hear you talk about it or anything like that. <clears throat> Who helps you get through that time? And what do you rely on now not to get back into that kind of situation? Um, I say, uh, talk to, to one of the doctors, the therapeutic doctors, just mental doctors that really helped me. Um, you know, he got me through the tough time, just talking to him, he eased my mind a little bit. Teammates, you know, knowing what I could do. They, they already knew what type of game I had. So, you know, just hyped me up and, you know, just playing your game out there is really, you know, what it was. And that's what definitely helped me for the uh, half of the season, yeah. Yes, I just want to say I like my team. And if you like our team, you should comment and subscribe. All you basketball bennies out there, do it and go Cats.